Welcome back to episode four of my Peru mountain bike adventure with the oh Wandering my. Wheels Guiding Company. Yeah. In today's episode, we're riding high up in the Sacred Valley as I follow my wild guides, Matt and Kinti, down a wide variety of trail types. Oh my God. Along the way, we have some pretty close Whoa, calls, Kinti. see quite a number of wild cows, sightings, cows, stop. encounter some ancient Incan sites, Wowzers. and of course, ride tons and tons of absolutely mind-blowing single track. But before we get to that, on our fourth day, we had a rest day that we used to go visit the famous Machu Picchu. Just getting to Machu Picchu turned out to be a whole adventure of its own. We started out by catching a Torito ride to the train station. Torito, meaning baby bull, are Oriente Tabo's equivalent to a taxi. And I think it's no surprise why Steve and I chose this one. That was what we were just in. The coolest Torito in all of Oriente Tabo. Once at the train station, we piled in along with all the other tourists heading to see Machu Picchu and settled in for what was supposed to be a quick one and a half hour ride. As we descended into the jungle, the winding path was beautiful along the way, but unfortunately, we ended up spending far longer on this train than we had intended as there was a landslide that blocked our way ahead and needed to be cleared. What felt like an eternity later, we finally arrived at Machu Picchu and, well, let's just say... The wait was well worth it. Despite being crowded, Machu Picchu was really quite mind-blowing to see in person. The intricate stonework of the numerous buildings and walls in town and the layers upon layers of terraces so high up on the mountainside are truly marvels of human achievement. The dramatic natural backdrop of deep canyons with rivers flowing through them and big lush mountaintops hiding in the clouds gave almost a mystical feeling to the place. One of the absolute best parts of the visit, however, was the fact that we had our local guide, Kinti, along with us, who, in addition to being a mountain bike guide, has also worked for a guide at Machu Picchu for years. Learning a bit about the incredible history of this place really gave us all great context as to why, aside from the natural beauty, it's so meaningful and interesting. We finished our visit with a small side hike up Wainu Picchu. Though it required a short yet sketchy hike up to it, I was really glad that we did it because it ended up providing us with one of my favorite views of the whole trip. Mm. <sighs> wow. Look at this. Say wow because of my butt? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Joe. We have made our way into the actual sacred valley, into a small town um, called Ollante Tambo. Much smaller town than Cusco, but very bustling town, I will say. Um, yesterday we visited Machu Picchu and it was amazing, but today we are getting back to riding and our first lap, we are heading all the way up to I think around 15,000 feet. We're going way up there. We just got done having breakfast. Breakfast is in there. Pretty nice little setup. And uh, here, I'll show you my room now. This is, uh, I'm on the second floor of this place. The walls and the floors are very thin. Joe is right below me. <laughs> And, and we can like just talk through the floor. <laughs> you can hear each other farting and stuff. <laughs> I've got a two, twins so I'm just putting my stuff on this bed and got a lot of charging going on here all the batteries and GoPros and goodness there's my second coffee of the day this bathroom definitely you know leaves, leaves something to be desired there's definitely a bit of uh, uh, like sewer gas smell coming up I think from the shower it's pretty basic, you know, it's got a toilet and a sink. And uh, the shower never really gets, gets hot, but you know, that's okay. We're here on an adventure. Hey, what up, Kinty? I didn't even realize that you were my neighbor, man. Good morning, bud. Yeah, just wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you better go get some coffee, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get that. All right, well, I need to go get geared up and uh, we'll get this day underway. One of the best parts about this hotel is that Senor Braulio. Hola, como estas? He can drive straight up to the gate here and uh, we can get loaded 
in privacy and not be like on a street or whatever. This is a little alley outside of town. Tom, you ready to ride some bikes, Tom? Dude? So ready. Can't wait. Tom has been victim number two of the stomach bug. I gave it, I passed it along to him, but he's being an absolute champ. That man Thank Thank clearly you. is hurting and we keep asking him if he's doing all right. He's like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Stoicism at its finest. Before we continue with this amazing day of riding, let me take just a quick minute to pay the bills and tell you a little bit about the awesome sponsor of today's video, Factor. If you guys don't know, Factor is a prepared meal delivery service and when they reached out to sponsor a video of mine, I was actually genuinely stoked because I've used their service already a number of times, like the other year when I broke my leg and I was renting an apartment for the summer. It was a long time ago that I wised up and realized that for me, the most important part of staying fit wasn't going to the gym five days a week or riding my bike a certain number of miles. But instead, the most important and hardest thing for me is staying on top of my eating habits mainly in the form of portion control or avoiding the convenience of unhealthy but fast takeout food. I don't know what it is, but it's just way too easy for me to have a busy day and forget about eating altogether until I'm crazy hungry, only to realize I have nothing to eat in the fridge. So inevitably, I order out, which is not only expensive, but generally not very good for me either. Factor helps me with both of these by delivering fresh, never frozen meals straight to the door so that right when I'm hungry, I can eat. I don't have to think about anything. All I gotta do is pick a meal out of the fridge, heat it up, and within a couple minutes, I am eating. In this week's order, I particularly enjoyed this loaded bacon spinach shredded chicken, but the surprise hit was definitely this caramelized onion and goat cheese risotto. I was kind of afraid I wasn't gonna like it because there was no meat, but it was delicious and filling. I loved it. Right now is the perfect time to try Factor because they are offering a seriously great deal of 50% off your first box. If you head to factor75.com or click the link in my description below and use my code sampler50 at checkout to get your discount and also let them know that I sent you. I looked at it and this comes out to be around $52 for a week of prepared dinners sent straight to your door. That's incredible, that is insane. So what are you waiting for? Start your year off right with me. Skip the overpriced and unhealthy takeout trap and eat delicious healthy meals right when you're ready to. Head to factor75.com or click my link in the description below and use code SAMPLER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box today. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video and keeping me on track with my New Year's fitness goals. Now, let's get back to the riding. All right, we made it to the top. Another pretty epic shuttle. One of my favorite things about all these days is, well, the favorite thing is that we're shuttling up. But one of the best parts is getting to see everything on the shuttle up. It's such amazing countryside. We get to see such interesting terrain and such interesting like villages and ways of life and animals. We were seeing like flocks of sheep way up on the mountainside. But we are at like 14.2. And uh, as you can see by all of our attire, it is quite chilly and we got some weather rolling in. So we're gonna get going and drop in on this uh, Inca avalanche. Day four of riding here out on the wandering wheels. <sighs> Sacred Valley Peru adventure. If you've been watching all these videos, there's been three other ride videos previous. If you've missed them, go check them out. And if you've been watching these and thinking, man, that's insanely epic. I wish I could do something like that. You can. This is a trip that is available to everyone, not just me. You can go onto the Wandering Wheels website and sign up for this exact trip. All right, now it's time to focus and ride our bikes. <laughs> We just jump right in every day to serious chunder. There is no warming up. <laughs> Got quite a bit of weather and oh yeah, it is wet out. Yeah, there is a lot of, I can't, I can't even talk. There's a lot of precipitation out here. A lot of vegetation, oh, a lot of alpacas. <laughs> Look at, they're all looking at us. They're like, what's going on? Kinty cam. <laughs> you. 
We got some gap jumps coming up on this trail. I like that. I wouldn't have expected to find those out here on this trail at least. Super wet. It's gonna be a struggle to keep the camera clear today. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Good gap there. Do you want to make sure everyone finds this? Yeah. Woo! Bike's going to need cleaning after today. Oh, yes. We good. All right, fast section here. Coming up on our first road crossing, I think. I see the road down to our left. We have a little gap. Oh no, no gap. First of many road crossings accomplished. Oh, I'm here, buddy. <laughs> Kinsey keeps looking back to see <clears throat> that we're here. I think my bike is just so quiet right now. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought there was a gap across the river. Oh, real muddy. Oh, a little gap. Raging river down to the left. That's cool. Gonna go see an Incan site. Dang, around the corner, nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, ink in sight. Gnarly section. <laughs> yeah, Kitty. Yeah, buddy. That was fun. Some of those were a little, a little iffy with wet tires. Yeah. This dog likes you, Kitty. Look at him go. <laughs> Gnarly chunky rock roll and do a very hard right hander right above the road. Yeah, okay. Keep going, just try it and then stop, yeah. Noted. I'll give you space. Super loose. Trying to like balance my brake modulation, but also not lose traction. Yeah, bud. Holy. Ah, oh, I almost had it. It's gnarly, but it goes, bro. <laughs> Build a bridge. All right, on the ride up, we saw a real nasty section exiting into the road, and that's gonna be uh, not okay. this one, but the next well, exit onto the road. I am uh, curious to see what that's like. The jackets have come off. You can see it's gotten quite a bit drier. Wow, that's sketchy. All right, bro. Let's do it. Whoa! <laughs> Good. The thing is coming here. This is the crazy section. <laughs> You're good. 
That's not bad. Oh, no, that's the next one. oh, next one, next one. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. All right, this is gonna be awesome going under this bridge. And then apparently there's a jump. This is it. Next one. <laughs> okay, next one, next one. Eventually we'll find the crazy. Eventually we'll get to a gnarly crazy section. <laughs> Everything is fun though. This is the one. <laughs> oh no, this is actually the one. This is actually it. Oh, stay left, stay left, and we got a car. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, I dabbed as well. <laughs> oh, dialed, what? Okay. All right, let's do it. I can't believe that goes. Whoa. This is cool. That was neat. Whoa, this is really steep. I'll keep going. Thank you. I, I hit a little too much back brake there. Got a little little loose, but I couldn't stop because I had Steve, I had people right behind me. All right, we got a, a sloped drop that we have to lift. I just wanted to look. I'll follow you. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, Maya. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, guys. Right, buddy. Nice. Good stuff. Perfect. Good stuff. God, Kinti, you are going to be such a menace once you get 170 millimeters of travel under you. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't break yourself off immediately, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Kinti's going to get a new bike in January. He's going to be getting a 170, 170 travel uh, uh, Revel Rail. So excited. He's going to be an animal. Dang. Ooh. I wish I was going to be here to, to good. see it. You're good. Bike gang! You! Yeah! Oh, that was such a long manual! We have way too much fun on bikes. <laughs> bike, bike gang antics. That trail is where the jump is. Okay. You will see. Okay. Okay. Go. Listo. All right. Taking the lead out here for a minute. We're done with the road crossing, so we can just bomb it. Hola. Whoa, cows, cows, stop. Stop! Should do I walk? Let's, yeah, let's work. <laughs> I was like, I thought there were trees at first. Really? Hey, big boy. That was cool. I can't say I've ever had that happen before.
Hola. Seis mas. This is the jump. Oh, it's in great shape. It's good, it's good. Drop it in. We don't need to go crazy fast, Joe. Wow. All right, last stretch. Straight into town we go. Hike her up. Gracias, senor. Oh my gosh, so loose. <laughs> oh, frame damage. Yeah. Senor Brayo. Always here, always here for us. Hola, amigo. Bien. Bien. You too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bud. Little 5,000 foot descent for breakfast. I know, I was like, that was a long run, dude. 5,000 vert on that one, guys. We just started off the day with a 5,000 foot descent. Just boom, it's like not even noon yet. It might be noon. It's like lunchtime, maybe. Check it out, I haven't showed you guys this. We just have a box of snacks back here at all times. Tons of snacks. We got, we got foiled by a river in a, a bridge outing that's under construction. These guys came out here just last week to look at it and it's changed since then. That's okay. It's about lunchtime anyway, so we're gonna bomb down into town and get some food and get back at it after lunch. Always an adventure. Always an adventure. That's why we're here. Yeah, boy. Cool oh, hey, little dude. Hi. Hi, little Watch dude. Watch out for people and Hi. busy locals walking up. Just hey, slow you. down a bit. And yeah, bud. All right, back to Oyante Tambo. We're going for some lunch and we're going to the equivalent, the like McDonald's equivalent. We're going to a place where it's all rotisserie chicken and fries, essentially. It's like their fast food. Uh, so pretty stoked to try it out. This is just gorgeous. Look at these benches. Oyante Tambo is a really cool little town. Pollo a la brasa. Dang. Oh my gosh. And it's so hot and fresh. Wow. I think we all went with the quarter chicken, rice, and fries. I don't know how we're going to ride after this. No one's eating all of this, right? There's no way. <laughs> Kinti, are you eating all that? I think so. No bro. way, bro. Yeah, no. Well? Finish it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I underestimated uh, how hungry we are and also how good this was going to be. We got to watch a little Spanish Charlie and the Chocolate Factory while we ate. <laughs> that was delicious. Would 10 out of 10 would come again. All right, so here is Oyante Tambo. Little fresh market. Yes. A bunch of toritos, cool little soccer field. Ooh, I wanna go play. Real quick urban ride. <laughs> Going to find our, our man, Senor Braulio. <laughs> Keep it going, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's who we're looking for. Oh, it's over now. All right, let's get the second half of the day started. Oh, we're dropping right in. Okay. Lots of poop on the ground. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> keep, please keep my mouth shut. Woo, that chicken is uh, sitting heavy. Yeah, bro. I like this already. Very different than what we were riding this morning. Peru is just so varied. So different everywhere you go. But yeah, now we got like sharp stuff, dry but brush, and, and rock. Like sharp shaley rock. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, they're cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, the babies. Bro. An Inca what? Laboratory. It's an Inca lab? Yeah. Wow. Like that. You guys can see there's like one, two, three terraced circle, circular. That's cool. So in this area, in this little area, there are around 22 different microclimates. Each terrace has a different temperature. So it varies between 0 0.1 to 1 Celsius degrees, depending on the altitude of each terrace, right? So in order to acclimatize crops, the Incas have to do that every single year. They move uh, one after the other one or lower the other one, depending what kind of crops they are acclimatizing. If we talk about natural conditions of agriculture, there are 3,000 feet range of altitude. While if you see, there is not that much, right? That's due to the different temperatures each terrace has. There are four, so the coldest temperature is in the last one, and the hottest temperature is in the lower terrace you see down there. When the archaeologists start doing studies, in the bottom terrace, they have found seeds of coca leaves, and coca leaves doesn't grow at this altitude. The best area to grow coca leaves are from 600 feet up to 6,000 feet. Right now, we are at 12,000 feet, so double the, the altitude they used to do that. So these Incas were so crazy. Thanks to this place, we do have more than 3,000 varieties of potatoes. That's why every day we have potatoes in our diet. We have around 3,000 varieties of quinoa, the same as corn. So corn, we have 300, right? And if you see all these farming lands, they are doing mainly here corn and potatoes. But the Incas were very more efficient. That's why they built the terraces in the slope of the mountains in order to gain more area for farming. All right, well, that is extremely interesting. So cool. Yeah, bud, I'm here. Kinti was saying this trail gets pretty playful down here excited for that ow that's real that was so sharp <laughs> going fast yeah Kinti yeah bro Chevrolet Yeah! That was wicked, bro. That was so fun. Yeah! Yeah! That was a really fun section. That was cool. Whew. Whoa, definitely exposed. Oh my. Whoa. Yeah, Tom's behind us. Let's go. He's right there. He's feeling better, that must mean. Hell yeah. That's the first two words I've heard him say all day. Hell yeah. <laughs> make Ooh, make sure go. the person behind you sees the right. Yes. It's so windy! <laughs> all right, that was a little bonus. Now we're back on the main trail. We were all just noticing earlier today that Kinti has been shredding this entire time with no dropper post. It's not that it matters too much since we're shuttling everything, but we do have punchy stuff every now and then. Yeah! I'm too late! <laughs> I couldn't stop! <laughs> this is so sick. I'm trying to take like as many different lines than Kinsey as possible. Oh my god! Sorry. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm I'm tending to my uh, garden, buddy. Yeah, he's doing good. 
He's good too. Whoa. <laughs> Kinsey, you okay? <laughs> it was. Kinsey took front front tire off the side. Oh. <laughs> You're okay, it's okay. I didn't ram you? No, no. Cool. Kitty! <laughs> Woo! We're all good. I just got some scrapes, but we good we Gucci. Yeah. Nice soft dirt down there. Plants are doing alright. Let's ride. I still trust you, Kinti. <laughs> Maybe you should give Kinti a little more space though. Yeah, bud. <laughs> that was a fun lap. PlayStation was definitely very playful. Nothing like a, an off to get your heart racing. Maya and I get, getting down for the, you know, taking, taking a hit for the team, both of us. And more good news, Thomas himself again. Matt, have you noticed that Tom's talking? <laughs> and smiling. I feel better. Good, dude. Good. How many shifts did it take? Uh, it took me eight. It took me eight. Uh, I'm at ten now. Dang! You got me beat. Shit. <laughs> Always one up with me, bro. All right, post lunch lap number two. What's this one called again, dude? Uh, we call this one Miss Manai Enduro. Miss Manai Enduro, and Matt's very stoked about it. It's awesome. You'll love it. You'll see why. Look at this. Support van is the, is the key. So clutch. We got water right there that I fill up each time I get out. Snacks right there. Cool. Couple cold beer. beer. Yeah, cold bevies in there. Senor Braulio in our van. So good. All right. Menai Enduro. And now we're going to follow Mr. Wandering Wheels himself, Matt. Matt is the man behind this whole trip, the one that runs this company and puts us all together. So massive shout out to him. Oh, this is cool. Wow, this is really cool terrain. Yeah, dude! I know! We have a se severe headwind. Like hard headwind. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, look at this. Wowzer. Yeah, this is so good. Dude, this is such a fun trail. This is, oh, I can't get over this. Oh, I got stuck in the rut. I was trying to get that jump, but I got caught in that rut. <laughs> Dude, you're right, that is awesome. That trail is good, yeah, so dude. fun. All right, here we go. This trail is one of my favorites now. Oh, hard ruts, huge ruts. No drop. All right, we got some pedals, some uphill pedals on this one, which is nice because I need to work up an appetite. And that means we get more of this dope trail. So I'm like totally okay with climbing a little if it means we get more of this trail. Oh! Huh. All right. Going all the way down to that town down there. But we got more goodness like what we've been riding. And this is like the best stuff. Having a ball following Matt in here.
Oh. I am not hitting these jumps in this wind. Oh God. Oh God, nah, no more. I would not hit the jumps! Big hole! Big hole! Oh my. This is pretty big exposure on the left right now. So riding a little slower. Yeah. Oh God, Matt. I don't want to hit jumps. It's too windy. Oh yeah. What an awesome lap that was. I think that was one of my favorite trails. It's so good. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite ones we've done that upper section. Let's go find our, our friend Braulio Braulio and get up for our final lap of the day. Can you guys believe how much trail we ride each day? Like this is ridiculous. Last couple days we've done like 8,000 feet of descending and 10,000 feet of descending. Like just mind blowing numbers. Senor Braulio, always there for us when we need him. Salud. 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 Remember how I told you guys that things are always changing here? Well, this is one of those things. We just came up for our last lap of the day and I don't know if this was a landslide or construction going on, but I do not think this is any, this is passable anymore. It always is crazy to me, like, no matter how high up you get out here, you think that, like, in the United States, you get this far out and you see no one. Maybe someone else, like, doing some outdoor recreation. You get up here, here, you see a bunch of kids walking around, see some l l herds of lamb. There's a horse, there's a dog over there taking a poop. There's a bunch of, like, heavy machinery. It's just, no matter how far out you get, there's stuff happening here in school. Senor Braulio killing it again. He has to back up all the way out of this. I don't know if there's anywhere to turn around. Check out these buildings. Just, just mud, mud bricks. Probably some manure too. There's some wood framing, and then a tin roof. And I mean, like. We are, we're currently like above, well, I got 13,000 feet right now. And this is, someone just built this, I think. This looks very fresh. <laughs> Always an adventure out here. We're gonna pet all our butts out of here. Senor Braulio, you got this? <sighs> Not according to plan, but such is life. Such is the adventure. Okay, I was wrong. We're not riding the road all the way down. Matt just said we, we are riding a trail, just a different trail. I, is, that must be it right there. Yeah, okay. So this is part of the race. Yeah. So they're, they're sponsoring yeah, a race, race next week. Next and this is the trail that it's on. Oh, sick. Okay, it's hell a, yeah. It's a good trail. It's just way shorter than the other one. Got you. Okay. But hey, sweet. We get to ride single yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. I totally thought we were riding this all the way back. Yeah, this is a downhill trail, not an enduro trail. Oh, this is like full on DH. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is going to be intense. Let's do it. Oh yeah, this is going to be cool. <laughs> I saw nothing. Oh God. 
Close. Close one. Ho oh, oh, my ho, my tire on my ass there. Yeah, buddy. I'm using a lot of front brake. Whoa. I think he rode this last time. He's out of control of the bottom of me. Scared me away from it. <laughs> Shit, dude. I want to look at that lower piece. I don't even think I can walk down it, can I? I think we can control our, I'm gonna move that rock. I'm moving it. I can, I don't know if I can stop. Holy shit, I literally almost couldn't stop. All right, I guess Kinti, Kinti said he's gonna drop in. Oh, he made it look amazing. Yeah, that was way better than the last time. He made it look so good. I feel like I could go even slower though. Wow. All right, I'm practicing what I preach. I'm, I'm not 100%, so I'm going around. So I've been, I've been telling everyone the whole trip, and now I'm kind of, I'm just like, I'm pretty sure I can do it, but I'm not 100. So I shouldn't do it. First thing, I haven't been able to ride. That is exciting. This is a really cool trail. That race is going to be bad. Is that a drop? Little. Dude, this race course is so sick. You okay? Nice roll. Huh? Yeah, it's it's super loose. All that shit, and then you wipe out on the third corner. Well, he tried to like commit to it, I think, and you know, yeah, and I was right behind him. Yes. Your shoulder good, dude? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. I think we're all a little tired. I definitely am a little tired and a little lacking of focus currently, so I'm riding like pretty chill. Take a high line here. Whoa. Hola. Hola. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened? <laughs> yeah, you don't say. <laughs> He's like, it's rocky there. That plant hooked my toe and held it. Oh, cool. There's like a secret trail back here. Yeah, I can see. That was hard. <laughs> Everyone consecutively just rolled out of that trail little by little with like, damn. Oh, that was fucked. Oh, what the? <laughs> that was some bull. I uh, don't disagree. That was tough. That was kind of kind of messed up. Yeah. Okay. What's over here? Oh gosh. There's a reason that he took that line. It was the better line. <laughs> Cool. This is hard. <laughs> Quite the ending. <laughs> everyone's like quiet, both because this is very difficult and everyone's tired, but because they're being really challenged. Good stuff, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That was cool. That was.
fucked up, but it was fun. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> totally concur. We made it! Yeah. That was fucking, that's a pretty good trail. That's a wild lap. <laughs> Good stuff, fam. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being cool with the adventure. Oh, yeah, always. That's what we signed up for. What a day. Yeah. Oh, what a day. Those, like, uh. big rocks. Uh. Uh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Steve's already in the snack box. All right. Yet another massively successful day out here in Peru. And, uh, man, this was an adventure day. We hit... A couple roadblocks along the way. We got um, first foiled by the lack of the bridge, and then we got foiled by road construction. But we made the best of it, and we still had a really good, great time and rode awesome trails. And you know that's what an adventure is. Best just to embrace it, since you definitely cannot control it. Uh, we ended the day. We went, came back into Oyante Tambo, and had yet another great meal. The food here has been really. The food in general in Peru has been fantastic. We've had two really good nights of restaurants here so far in Ollante Tambo. And tonight was actually our final night. Tomorrow, we're going to be riding in the area and then heading even deeper into the mountains. And we're heading to a hot springs and I've been told that we're going to be kind of rough in it, which means nothing to me, as you guys know, you know, coming from living in a van and car or whatever. But the hotel is going to be kind of, you know, not even even less, even more sparse than this one here. But um, I'm excited about some hot springs. But first, we are going to be doing more epic riding. And apparently tomorrow we are going up to almost actually at, I thought today was 15,000 feet. Tomorrow we're actually going to be at 14,850 feet. I have never ridden that high in my life. And uh, I've been told they're going to be kind of adventure rides. So very excited for that. I hope you guys are too. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it even a fraction of the amount that I enjoyed being here and getting out on these rides with my friends today. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, definitely do that so you catch the upcoming uh, future, the next parts of this adventure. We still have another four days of riding, I believe it is, which is wild. Uh, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. The best is still yet to come. Uh, all that's left to say is I gotta get some sleep. I'm actually tired tonight. I'm, I'm quite tired. It didn't feel like as big of a day, but it definitely was a big long day. We've been out since 9 a.m. We didn't finish till six. So uh, I'm gonna go get some rest. I'll see you guys soon for another adventure. And until then, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked. You're grabbing him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. Can I hold him? Yeah. Oh, pet, pet, Maya. Pet, this one. Hi. Oh. That thing is huge. That thing like to, oh, is, look at his, how you call? Horn? Oh, no. Is he like bite? the paws, like paws. No, that's in bye, buddy. Is he sticking you with yeah, those things? Yeah, he's sticking the little bit. I don't wanna. <laughs>